Hello, this is Mike Frank from Aquaquan Paleotechnics. I'm doing this short video clip to explain why many buyers of art knives, uh, such as those on eBay, are often disappointed by how sharp they are, that, uh, that they don't cut in the way that they've heard obsidian and flint can. We've all heard that they can be used in surgeries, uh, can be sharp as steel scalpels, and use their obsidian art knives and find out that they don't cut very well. Uh, those knives are very beautiful and some makers can make them pretty sharp. They can cut in skinning chores, but uh, they don't perform the same way that an obsidian flake does. And that's what I'd like to clear up today. Here's an example of an eBay art knife. It's pretty to look at, but it, it wasn't made in traditional methods. It's cut with a diamond saw, uh, edges are ground with a machine and flakes taken across a flat surface. It's not how it was done throughout time and history or any culture in the world. It's, um, they're very pretty to look at though, and it's a good way to use materials, so I don't want to knock the, the makers of these. Uh, obsidian can be used um, in, in good conservation sense by cutting thin slabs and flaking these out. And people love them. Um, when they buy them, they're often disappointed though that when they cut into something, it doesn't have the the famous cut that obsidian should have. And that's what I'd like to show today, that, uh, why that's happening. Obsidian definitely is as sharp as we've all heard. And here's an example of the traditional method of making obsidian into its sharpest form. This is a core. It's had some blows taken already to, to take some uh, initial roughing out flakes here. And it's these that I'll strike from the top and follow to get some, some razor blades today. And those are definitely as sharp as we've all heard. This is the traditional method of making something sharp. Here's uh, one of the first blades that came off, uh, struck at the top where my finger is. This is just one hit and one flake. This, this tool, without being altered, just this raw flake, this is as sharp as anything in the world can get. Cultures around the world, for example, Mesoamerica, Aztecs, Mayans were able to get these flatter and thinner and uh, edged geometry even better to be perfect scalpels. But just this one hit um, at the very start of the process to be sharp enough to prove what obsidian can do. First, for this comparison, I'm going to show the obsidian art knife. Uh, this one was uh, purchased on eBay years ago for this comparison. I was going to make something else out of it. And I still will, because <laughs> I don't like the non-traditional look. Against leather, this has a little bit of a bite. The maker did a pretty good job, but it doesn't, it has to saw to get through leather. That's not bad, but it will cut something. It has a good bite. It's good for skinning chores, and it definitely looks pretty. The maker did a good job. Now I'm going to show a traditional style cutting with just a flake. This is just the one hit raw flake that came off the obsidian blade. You be very careful when you touch here. I used the whetstone and ground on the edge so I could grab it, but I've not touched here and it's just the raw edge. With a tool like that, all you need to do is touch and it'll cut through leather. I don't really have to saw any, almost just a touch, it pushes through it. Here's an example of a smaller, more refined blade cutting the leather with just a push at the start. I've slowed this down a little bit so that you can see that cutting motion. A blade this fine would come from a more prepared core with a better edge geometry. Here I want to show an example of a core from Mexico City. This is from the Aztec culture and it shows the refinement that these blades reached. Learn more about our obsidian products. Check us out at Aquaquan Paleotechnics, LLC.